This is the demo scene for the North Star tracking system. It may be pretty bare bones, but there's a lot going on. For instance, we can click the wolves to destroy them. We can see how this special target has a distance both in the screen overlay and the navigation bar. And we can see as we get close to these berries, we can press the space bar to collect them, after which they disappear. All of these features are driven by the North Star navigation system with the berries and the distance having additional logic to customize those features for this project. Every project is different and how you want your overlays to display is completely up to you. The system makes it easy to modify it to create custom logic for your games. All right, so the demo scene has a very simple player. I've even named these scripts simple first person controller and simple player actions because they are just simple scripts for the demo scene. You're welcome to learn from them if you'd like, but they are very simple scripts just to get the player to walk around. Under our canvas here, we have our North Star screen overlay and we currently have navigation bar three in here. You can replace the navigation bars just by selecting these objects in the North Star menu. If you need to load the North Star menu, go to Game Object, North Star, and Create Window. Now load this menu, which you can dock anywhere. Simply click any of these to replace them with those prefabs. We also have Compass 1 in the scene. Go to infinitypbr.com and click on the scripting docs to view all of the information about the North Star tracking system. We have a lot of very detailed documentation here, explanations of what everything does, including videos on how you can customize things and override things at runtime. There's a few aspects of the demo scene that I would like to highlight. First is the wolf. The wolves have a track target compass radar and a track target overlay component on them. That means they'll be active on the compass or radar as well as the on-screen options. That's the screen overlay, edge overlay, and the navigation bar, which are handled by the North Star screen overlay. In the track target overlay component, the system toggle is set to override the edge overlay and enforce that edge overlay is enabled for the wolves. If we look at the North Star screen overlay, we see that the edge overlay is disabled globally. Individual track targets can override that value just for themselves. And that's why in the scene here, we see that the wolves are being shown on the edge while other track targets are not. The track target overlay for the demo target does not have any override options available because we haven't populated a North Star overlay settings. If we do choose one of these, then the overrides will become available and then we can override the default North Star overlay settings with custom ones from this settings object. Leave that blank if you'd like this track target, just use the default settings set on the North Star screen overlay. The large object here with the orange icon and the distance indication is the demo goal target here in the scene. Our tracked target overlay here uses the North Star settings locations and we can see that we are overriding the screen overlay overrides, edge overlay overrides, arrow overrides, and navigation bar overrides, mostly changing the color and the alpha used for these options. For the navigation bar, we also have the clamp position at edges enabled and the fade at edges disabled, which is why the icon always shows up on the edge of the navigation bar even though the other icons are fading in and out as they get to the edge. The tracked target overlay also has a custom screen icon and a custom navigation bar icon object. These are required if you want to have any special logic for your icons. In this case, we have a North Star icon distance variant of the North Star icon with a distance text component on it. You can use this in your project, but this is also an example of how you can expand the system to create new logic that suits your game. This means that if any game you love to play has some sort of special screen overlay or a nav bar overlay or any other type of overlay, you can recreate that with this system and some custom code. Both the North Star icon and the icon distance both have the overlay icon. The distance text is an additional component which handles this text mesh pro text component. And while I've created a custom inspector for this, you don't have to do that. I just enjoy making custom inspectors. And the last thing I want to draw your attention to is the berries. In the scene, the icon for the berries only shows up when the player gets close. 
and as we get close enough, we can press the space bar to start picking up the berries. If we move away, the pickup action stops. If we let the progress bar get to full, then the berries are picked up and the berries themselves disappear, and the icon disappears both from the compass and from the navigation. The berries prefab is just apparent, and inside we have the berries object. This is the tracked target itself. We have both the track target compass radar and the track target overlay attached to this object. Like the demo goal target, there's a custom screen icon for the blue berries. This icon has the overlay icon component on it, but it also has this pickups indicator component which controls the progress bar attached to the icon. The berries object also has a pickup script and this script handles the pickup logic for the berries. I'm not going to go into detail of how that script works, but you can open it up and dig into the operations of that script. The demo scene is intended to demonstrate how you can use Northstar to create custom overlays that interact. The demo scene is intended to display all the different ways that you can use the Northstar tracking system, including how you can customize things to add additional logic for your game so that your game looks and feels the way you want it to look. If you have any questions, come to the Discord, and I hope to see you real, real soon. Thanks.